Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Cold Waters episode number four. The last one, a real knife fight. I mean, that was terrifying, almost being uh, caught several times by the Riga, then the frigate, I forget what it was, and then, yeah, I mean, just horrible. It was horrible. <laughs> but we survived, and that's the good news. So now our next objective was just to go back to port. I don't see much use I do see, I guess I do see some use in the Mark 16s, so we'll take a few, but most of the time I think we'll have better luck without them. After a successful patrol, you look on the mooring lines as the mooring line tightens, securing your ship to the pier. Home and safe, you allow yourself to relax for a little while. The world may be at war, but the sunny skies, <laughs> we're in England, <laughs> there's a typo here. Uh, the sunny skies and the light breeze over home port whispers of a brief moment of peace. Intel reports that a pack of enemy wolf pack enemy diesel electric attack subs will attempt to break out into the North Atlantic within the next seven days, where they will wreak havoc on vital American to Europe convoys. You are ordered to engage them, sinking as many subs as possible. I like this mission because I can deal with subs. I cannot deal with surface units. So let's rearm. Mostly, let's take three of these and the rest of these. Okay, good. Cast off anchors away. They want to break out into the Atlantic, which means we should be seeing them. This could be them, or that could be them. Probably not those. Oh, well, that's telling. Okay, there's something here. Let's go for these guys. Good, I got to patrol speed just in time. All hands man battle stations. Sonar contact, bearing 224. Rig ship for ultra quiet. 224, 224. Let's Come left on. Two, two, four, Lost L contact. Nine. Con sonar, new contact, bearing 169. Designated Sierra 1. Got it. Whiskey. Aha. Uh -huh. Con sonar. Sierra one is class of come left to one nine nine helm I. As soon as she goes active, we might have a problem here. She's at the surface. Let's make our depth to let's make it three hundred even. Put this to the surface. Well, it's okay as is. Crawl up next to her and launch. Come left to one six three helm I. Plenty of depth under keel. This is like my environment. I, this is where Commander Tortuga really shines. I feel most at home when I have a lot of water, water under me. This is challenging. We know that there's a contact bearing 224, which is basically on our current heading. We don't see it. We do see uh, a whiskey, which is a semi-noisy sub. Remember, mine is only 130. I mean, only. Not. I mean, it's as much as... Uh, when I say only, I don't mean it. I, I don't mean only, as in oh, it's so low. I mean, only as in it's only so quiet. It's not that. You know, it's pretty noisy itself. So we're almost able to be detected already. <sighs> Active, passive. They're both going to happen about the same time. Dive at three zero zero feet. Dive we'll just crash dive once. Um, I believe these are sonar nodules. Sonar, are they? I think so, right? I believe the Seawolf has three patches of sonar arrays. Wide array? W-A-A? -A? Wide array something? I don't know. Anyway, this whiskey's catching up to us because it's going slightly faster. And we're not facing towards her, which is not ideal. Con, helm. Really wish we had a tow to race so we could point away from her <laughs> and not lose her in our baffles. Kind of hard to think of the baffles. Could you just turn off your um, propeller for a moment? Just shut down so you could hear back in this direction? Like, if we're only going three knots, we, we actually, our noise would be very... I imagine you would still be able to detect noises from behind you. I'm not sure, though. That could be, that could be wrong. 
I'm still waiting to hear from another contact. Okay, we have her now. If I turn any, if I go north, if I turn to starboard, we're gonna lose here for a bit. If I don't do that, she's probably gonna detect us and we're in a terrible position to launch. Now we should queue up on port side torpedo, which is the even numbers, two and four. Pretty quiet, so we'll leave passive detection on because I've seen passive be more effective generally. We might be able to creep out of her way. Okay, she just made a course correction, which we would only know from TMA, I guess, but <laughs> we are able to see it live, real time. I mean, let's just turn slow down a little. Maneuvering eye. She hasn't gone active yet, so there's hope that we can get away with this. That little course correction actually helped us a lot. Hmm. She's about to go into our baffle, so we have to make a decision very quickly. We're about to reach minimum range. Yeah, actually, I think we're extending range again. Maybe, but if she slows down, she might hear us. Okay, let's go down to three knots. Make turns for three knots. Maneuvering eye. And as soon as she enters our baffles, I think I'm going to do is as soon as she enters our baffles, we're noisy just from the end noise of the engine, stuff like this. So I think I think we'll be okay. Five, two, five. So she, okay, now contact Sierra. Rudder full right. Bearing one one. Six. Contact is in the baffles. We'll pick her up in a moment. Con sonar regained contact on okay. Sierra. One. Bearing. One. Zero. Four. Steady course. No, she's right here. If she was to go active, we'd be in big trouble, but she's not. Con sonar new contact uh -oh. bearing one nine six designated Sierra two. Con sonar Fox truck. Sierra okay, two. well things have it's just gotten more complicated. Submerged submarine. <laughs> Whiskey is the less dangerous of the two. Wissy's slowly turning northward. I think we can just get in behind her now. Might be too early to do that. Oh god, we need to find out where this foxtrot is before we do any such maneuvers. This is, just think of how interesting this is. 
we're letting one, we're going in between their formation. Oh gosh, that foxtrot is close. And about to detect us. Come right to zero, three, four, helm I. Come right to zero, 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 helm I. Come right to zero, three, one, helm I. That foxtrot doesn't make the turn. We might be okay. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra Shoot. two, last bearing one, nine, three, contact. Well, we might as well get in battles. one of their baffles, right? There she is. There she is. Uh oh. Sounds like we have activity on the boat. Hmm. Come right to zero four nine helm I. So I want to do is quickly head east Come and then right head north. Zero, seven, one, helm I. Make turns good. more. That was a good move. Not maneuvering I. Con helm steady course. We're up to no five. We'll go five again. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering I. Come left to zero three okay. one. Helm Hopefully I. we get that fox trap back now. Con helm steady course. Where is she? I can't even see her. She should be dead ahead of us. Damn camouflage! It's working too well. All right, we're in her baffles. Okay. Come left to zero one eight helm I. She's like over there, barely see her. All right, let's go ahead and launch then. I would actually like to get uh, a reading on zero, Foxtrot. One, one, oh helm my I. lord! Tell me that isn't true. Make turns for four knots, maneuvering I. Okay, we need a starboard. That fox trot's gonna counter launch so quickly, though. Ah. Come right to zero two four helm I. Con sonar lost contact. See a con helm steady course. Come left to wow. zero one zero. How lucky are we? <laughs> Just surviving. <laughs> both of these. Now will the whiskey know if we just start beating up on his buddy? They probably can't communicate. Although how else would they detect each other? How else would they stay in formation without... How can you form a wolf pack without communication? Okay, well we'll need port side for this guy and starboard side for the whiskey. Come left to Zero, zero, four, helm I. Oh, Foxtrot's moving towards us. No bueno. Actually, we want the Foxtrot to outrun us a bit. <sighs> it's difficult. They are protecting each other. We need to, like, pick off the Foxtrot, then the whiskey. I don't know. I think we're just gonna have to do multiple launches. We'll have to do a launch which immediately goes active over here. And then immediately go after the whiskey. So. Four side, which is the two and the four. The Foxtrot. Basically the same bearing is fine. I mean same depth is fine. And then one for the whiskey. And 
and then we crash dive. Okay, sounds good. This is the best we're gonna get. Whiskey's gonna get further and further away, so. Okay, shoot tube two. Shoot tube two, aye sir. Shoot tube three, aye sir. Prepare to crash dive. Take our depth lower until we get a transient. And then when we do get a transient, we will make sure to crash dive fully. But they haven't detected us, even our torpedoes yet, somehow. Must be a very silent launch platform. Passing 400 feet. I mean, they'll immediately go active, but they don't actually have great active detection. Come right to zero, one, five, helm, I. Was it whiskey ones? Okay, you go to the surface then. Passing 500 feet. Somehow that one still hasn't detected her. I don't know how. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra to Con Helm steady course. Passing 700 feet. Looks pretty much dead on. But I am in control, so those noisemakers won't do a thing. I think we're already below the range of that. Still gonna guide her in though. Okay, since I can't see her anymore, I won't guide her in. That torpedo's overhead. How's this one doing? Noisemaker bearing two, five, nine. Really wish I could see what's going on over there. Come left to three three five helm I. Oh Con, shoot! Fire I can't. Control, weapon acquired. Oh nice. Why don't you flub this one? Got her. Con sonar lost contact. Absolutely. Zero, and that two, probably would be something the two, other whiskey would six, hear. Three contact breaking up. Okay, so let's activate the other torpedo. No, no just go straight. And put ourselves right at the same height. Accelerate time. Con, torpedo room, tube two ready. Con, sonar, launch transient from Sierra, one. Con sonar, Sierra one is come right to zero 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 helm I. Just in case I forget, let's make our depth manually lower. Twelve hundred should do it. Make depth one two zero zero feet die by. Come left to 
Three, two, six, Did she even detect I... us? No, she doesn't have a clue. Which her launch, tra uh, her uh, torpedo outgoing kind of shows. It's not. I can't even find it. Where the hell is it? I was gonna say it's not really on the right course, but I can't find it. So <laughs> can't really. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's going behind us. So. Con fire control weapon acquired. Go this way to kind of cut her off at the pass, and we'll snake on back in. Boy, if I were her, I would do something. Con helm, steady course. Well, she did not. She did not do something, which would have been better Con than nothing. Noisemaker bearing zero zero. Okay, might as well make our depth even deeper since we have time. Ah, that thing's way over us. Come right to. Make turns for two, five knots. Man make turns for one, five knots. Maneuvering eye. Now we just gotta wait for this thing to disappear and we can call Come left this two, one successful three, mission. Three, two, and who knows, maybe it wasn't the correct. Uh, Right Maybe this two, wasn't the correct three, three, wolf nine, pack. Helm, I. These are both diesel electrics, so it's a you know it's a distinct possibility I'd say. Yeah, there we go. Whew! Well done, but this is not your target mission. Well, it just figures, doesn't it? I think we can try to look for another one. I'm trying to break into the Pacific. Sweden under attack. Major Soviet amphibious assault launched in the shores of Sweden. Invading force size hitherto unknown. War now on multiple fronts. Where is our navy? Op-Ed asks. Uh, I'm doing my job. How about that? Is this guy going to try to break into the Pacific from here? Like, I think this is the one that's trying to break. 230. Let's reload. For submerged combat. 230, all hands man battle stations. Con so rig ship for ultra quiet. 230. Come left to contact faded. Four, one, helm we have I. layer. Con sonar new contact bearing. Zero, one. Zero, one, nine, Let's quickly seven, identify zero, if this is a one. merchant, which I suspect it is. Yeah. Okay, so that's not what we want. We don't care about it. As merchant. Let's get the other one. Come left to two, four, three. Helm I. And also drop my depth a little bit more. Three hundred should be fine. What's our depth in the keel? Oh, it's not too deep. We do have a layer here, though. Something we can deal with. Con helm, steady course. Zero, zero, Our is going to go right over us, and we are... She's going to go into our baffles, <laughs> and we won't be able to do anything about it, but that's fine. Con sonar lost contact. Just waiting zero, for the next one, contact to last pop bearing, up somewhere. Zero, three, four. Contact is in the baffles. Come left to two, zero, Technically, five, that trawler would kind of mask I. our sound as well, which is wonderful. But Con, I don't, again, L, know if that's modeled. Come right to two two seven helm I. Con helm steady course. And we play the waiting game. Eventually the trawler will be in front of us, and then yeah, it would also interfere with our ability to detect our our opposition. It's quiet. Whatever this thing. Con sonar is. regained contact on Sierra one bearing zero seven seven. Hmm. I guess we could try going above the layer. I highly doubt she's up there. We could try it though. Make depth one zero zero eight dive by. Con dive at one zero zero.
zero feet, die by. Make depth five, zero feet, die by. Con, dive. Come right to two, four, zero. Helm, I. Con, helm. Make depth two, zero, zero feet, die it's by. It's getting nothing. Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. And just in case this is our target, we don't want to just get nothing. We could go active. Since this is possibly our objective and we don't want them leaking out, it's supposed to be a pair of them, though. More than one, not just one, I think. I guess we gotta clear our baffles, make sure it's not behind us. But no, it was 224, I remember. Should be this way. Let's clear our baffles the other way. get nothing. Right what we can do one, is six, go active for a single five. ping and see what happens. Who else starts getting frisky out there? I dislike this tactic a lot, but I don't see an alternative. Con sonar, switching to active search. Getting any returns either. Con sonar, switching the passive search. Got something. Come right to two five five helm I. Okay. Well now she knows where we are. Come where right she to is. two five nine. Well, I'm helm guy to say. Con helm, steady course. Right, we got the information we needed. Make turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering eye. We can try it again, but may not need to. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one last bearing one five. Nine. Contact faded. Can go active again. No, she's over here though. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Oh, there's the noise is so bad. We're gonna have to go active. Damn it. Make turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Sonar, switching the passive search. Oh. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Make turns for one. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Okay, and at 300 or so. We just gotta get closer. Passing 300 feet. Make turns for one, five knots. We know she's out there then. Passing 400 feet. Con maneuvering, making turns for. Make depth 750 feet, die by. A torpedo has a long way to come. And we got a long ways to go then. Make turns for. Two. Zero knots, maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering, making turns for two zero knots. Guess we can drop down a bit more. <laughs> Might as well. We don't want this thing to uh, to catch us. Maybe fifty feet is enough between us and the bottom. I think so. Let's 
very, very noisy at 95, so I'm just going to rely on that as us, for us not to be detected. This thing probably couldn't go active for quite a long time since um, they probably didn't have a very good like uh, distance to target for us, so they might actually still be kind of guessing, which means they might also, you know, oh, we're almost overhead, or I see. Yeah, it just went active. So I was, I was wondering when it would go active. Is it going a circle search? That was unexpected. Quite unexpected. Make turns for two zero knots. Min Slow down to ten Make here. Make turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Just because this is the perfect place for us to be right underneath it. That's the worst angle for her to try to detect us vertically down. So let's see if we have anything. I don't think so, frankly. I think this... The mission spawned us so far away from our target. Really Dude, close if we're the here. Submarine. Holy cow. How is it that we're this close to her and she's not detecting us? nerve-wracking. She's like really close to us. <laughs> Make turn Actually, I, I don't three, think nine, there's even time to do that. Let's We just have to launch and go very quickly. Con maneuvering. Making turns for three knots. Con sonar. Launch transient from Sierra two. Make turns for two five knots. Maneuvering eye. Yeah, turns right over our head. Two zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Con sonar. Oh my gosh! Contact. Sierra. I got her. Last bearing. Two. I got her like blind. Contact breaking up. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Holy cow, I got her blind. Holy cow. I, I didn't even intend to. Just pff, blind luck. Well, you know, we all get lucky sometimes, right? Con sonar, switching to active search. Make turns for. Gotta actually zero, avoid this thing from nine, falling. Look at that oil nine, slick, too. That's beautiful. I mean, it's just. Con maneuvering, making turns. Horrifying if you're thinking of consequences, zero, but. Wow. Come Getting left, even two, one of them two, is probably nine, enough. Four, L, I. So it doesn't matter if there's not another one out there or there is. Con, torpedo room, two, one, ready. Yeah, okay. Con, sonar, Let's switching leave. the passive search. Weapons steering nearby, okay. Come left two. two I don't think this two, was our target two, then. I. Con, helm, steady course. Oh wow, this was our target and there was two others we didn't see. Commander, inability to meet the enemy's threat will, with resolve will make life on the Atlantic a lot more difficult for our colleagues, not to mention a heck of a lot more dangerous for the merchants. We'll have to just step it up. New orders to be transmitted on this downlink. Now, I disagree with this, and I'll tell you why. Well, I think it just makes sense. 
this implies immediately that this submarine group is just gone and undetectable and they've already been released to the Atlantic. Sorry, yeah. Um, which is not true. They're in the, the, the English Channel, right? Okay, anyway, uh, so we're, we're going to find out where they are. They're not, they weren't quite to the English Channel, but they were basically somewhere close to, I don't know, somewhere in the North Sea, right? Anyway, it's like, how did we follow their path all the way down here to this point when they were moving towards the channel? How do we, how is it that when they get to this point and I lose them after killing one of them, now suddenly they're completely free? They're not. We track them constantly throughout their journey along the Scandinavian coast. We'd easily, much more easily be able to track them as they moved closer to the NATO countries like France and England. Nah, I disagree. Okay, and I think it makes sense, but anyways, this is a really crappy operation. I hate this already. Soviet Coast. We believe a small and rev force is operating in this area. You are ordered to interdict this group and sink in. No! Boo. Okay, well, the good news is that, yeah, look at this. They weren't quite to the North Sea, but they were basically moving towards it. And this is like the easiest place to interdict them. I mean, you'd have to assume that with Norway and Sweden still in NATO control, the United Kingdom, France, West Germany still in NATO control, the North Sea would just be a death trap for any, certainly for any surface Soviet fleet. I mean, this is a Soviet fleet. They don't have much of a fleet in Leningrad. Most of it's at Arch Archangelsk, uh, maybe Murmansk. So that's just silly to think that... Yeah, I mean, we didn't... They still would have had to navigate the channel, which is probably a death sentence for or they would have had to go through this uh, line and we would have had another chance to detect them. I don't know, that just uh, chaps my hide a bit, but that's okay. So anyways, we're gonna call this episode to a close here, obviously, and uh, we'll pick it up in the next one where we have another Mission Impossible. I'm not even sure I wanna do that mission. Um, it's horrifying to think about it. <laughs> but until the next one, thanks for watching and take care.